Hello, hello, and welcome to Happy Scrappy Hour. I am going to be scrapbooking live this evening, and I apologize. I have some stuff left on my desk, and I forgot once again that you can't zoom in on YouTube anymore. So all this stuff you weren't supposed to be able to see. Oh, well, you know what? Those would be cute. These might be cute, too. We'll pull those in. All right, so... Let me switch some of this around. These are also some stuff from earlier today. I am going to be, hey mom, oh, I like all the hearts in the balloon. I'm going to be scrapbooking this little cutie patootie. This is CC. And, oh, I'm never even open this one. I was planning on scrapbooking a different picture tonight um, of one of my remote students. Unfortunately, I was not emailed the, or texted the picture in time. So if you are that student and you are disappointed that I am not scrapbooking you, I want you to know I will be scrapbooking you. Okay? Don't worry about that. I just need the picture from mom and I will make sure to do a video for you. Okay, sweetie? I call her my little unicorn because she likes unicorns like I do. All right, let's see what we have in here. Let me flip around. So in case you don't know, when I have collection packs like this, I cut that hang tab off. And then I work really hard to take out this page and flip it. And I put it back in. And I do that so that way it has the stiffness of the paper to let it go in. But now I've got a nice little pouch to keep my papers and my scraps together. And it didn't cost me an arm and two legs. Because as much as I like having all the nice, um, fabulous pockets and stuff that are made for scrapbookers, they get expensive after a while. So. So this is Sweet Baby Girl by Lori Whitlock. I bought it from 2G's, which is a store in Spruce Pines, North Carolina. And they always include um, cardstock in their kits. So they go through and open up the collection pack and they will add coordinating cardstock. So it looks like we've got brown, white, and green. And the white, I don't know what the white is, but the brown and green are both basil. This one's orange peel texture, which is my favorite texture. All right, so I think I will use one of those. I might use the brown one. And then I've got the stickers, and let's look at the papers. I may end up doing um, the title of what's written on her shirt. Um, it says Cradle Catholic, which I think is so cute because, you know, we're Catholic. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I am. And I just think that's adorable. She's got a little rosary, too. Ooh, diagonal plaid. Must use a diagonal plaid if it is available. I think to go with Little Miss Cece's dark hair, I'm going to go with that pretty chocolatey color. What? Do they put, give a name to this color? I'm sure they do. They name like everything. The question is, is it written in a large enough font that I can read it? Pine cone. I'm going to assume that's the name. Intense kiwi. <laughs> intense kiwi. So it's it's intense. Um, I will now giggle every time I go to use that paper. <laughs> it's not just regular kiwi, folks. It's an intense one. All right, so 12 by 12 for that. I think we will do it completely, um, use that as a full piece. And then if I do that, I'm going to want to do something that reads as a solid for like some of the photo mats. That would work. I don't think I want to do the brown. So I've got that in the background. We have something. Oh, look at the little. Oh, I'm gonna have to use those too. I've got her first four month pictures. I'm collecting my, my sweet Zora's too. I'm sure she's only a month old, so I don't have as many for her. Oh, look at the little cards. She is such a sweet baby girl. Oh, 
Now, this would be fun. All right, I want to save the bunnies for Zora. But I like this. That, that I'm going to use. You don't normally see the border strips being for um, vertical. And then I think I will toss in this one. So that will give me the lighter, lighter pink, which goes more with her, and the darker pink, which is in plaid. Let's cut this strip first. And now it is, what do I ink with? Because my immediate reaction is always either black or brown. Brown in this case. But should I? Or do I want to go with something more in the pink range? We're going to go with a quarter inch border on each side, which means I cut a half inch off of two sides. Mom says pink sounds good. I can do that. Let's pull out and see really quickly which pink we want to use. Um, definitely, I think worn lipstick will work. Uh, yeah, Wild Rose, that's on front, so it's in a different. Box. Why do I have a random piece of curled washing tape in there? Uh, let me grab worn lipstick and pink foam, and we're ready to begin. Oh, you know what else this needs? This needs a doily. Hold on, let me grab that too. me a chance to use one of these big ones. All right, oh, there we go. That one's loose. It's also a different style. Huh. It was not until I became a scrapbooker that I realized just how many different doilies there are. Like, I always just thought a doily's a doily. No, you are wrong if you thought that. <laughs> All right, let me take... I want to get... Some, I, I was using the uh, Kitsch Flamingo, which is much brighter pink. <laughs> well, it's nice. I don't particularly want that to be the one that's the overarching color for the inking. Yeah, that's a little better. Ink this down. Thank you for those of you who are here tonight. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. Look, I'm remembering you do that when it's not the very begin or very end of the broadcast. And if you're enjoying yourself, you can give this a thumbs up and maybe YouTube will tell other people about it. <laughs> okay, yes. Now, here's my next question is, do I want to do a border? Can I, do I have that? Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. I like this one, but it's got triangles in it, and I don't want to deal with that. Oh, and before we put that down, where did the doily go? It's like ADD scrapbooking, constantly losing things. All right. Now, do I want to put it? I think I want to put it so that the doily's coming out from underneath. And I'm okay. It's, I know you should have more of it under or coming out the other side, but I don't want it to look like that. Oh. I missed. I missed the doily. 
how does one miss the doily? Well, let's put the adhesive directly on said doily on the top. And I can't peel it back up because my nails are like, excuse me, you just painted on us. We are not to be picking things like this up. <laughs> Another little strip. There we go. And then now. All right. Now, this is still very loose on the page, but I don't want to put adhesive there yet until I know it's going to be covered or what it will be covered by. I want this one to be the main focus. So I think I'm going to put, oh, there's a polka dot too. I might include that in there. Yeah, I like that. Or wait, hold on. Come here, Miss Cece. I think I'm going to do it this way so that the lighter pink is next to her. Let me see really quickly how it looks like this. The polka dots are going in the middle. One second thought, maybe I like that one. It gives more of a contrast with her clothing. And I like this. Oh, and then I was like, wait. Okay, so here are those. I know this will probably drive people crazy that I've chopped this up already into such small pieces, but it's great. It's paper. That's why I bought it. There's no point in having this paper if I'm not actually going to lose, lose it. <laughs> Who knows? I might lose it. Use it. That was the word I was trying to say. I have been scrapbooking up a storm recently. I have... Oh, that's what that is. I have gotten... Remember this from... Was it last week? I've already made it up to 15 completed layouts for the month. Which makes me feel good because it's only the 13th. So while it's not been a layout a day, it still averages out to about a layout a day. A little more than that right now. Okay, my sweet little princess. I know she's got another picture somewhere. All right. Since I want one where she is looking at the camera to be the focal focus one i'm going to pick the one that where the um flowers are not going to be hidden so this one along the sides the flowers you can't really see very well just the nature of the print that it is so you just kind of work with it I will put this one up on dimensional adhesive, put it up on some foam tape. And then I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the poke? I think I want to do this mat just with this picture and then go back and finish it with pink. And if I was really smart, I would have cut my other paper to be differently to begin with, but that's okay. This one, and this is three. All right, and then first layer, and then this one though is three quarters. This one goes down to six. Did I? Oh, I didn't cut it. I was like, where's the other little bit of paper? It helps if you actually 
cut the rest of it in half. Oh, that was one. That's what I was looking at. I was like, how did I not see the polka dots before? Because I was busy looking at the four by six cut apart. Hello, Harmony. Welcome, welcome. How are you today or tonight? I can't keep track track of, of if it's morning, afternoon, evening, night for anybody anymore. I can barely keep track of that for myself. I know it's night where mom is. <laughs> so what have you all been up to lately? I today finished, I said I was scrapbooking a lot. I actually finished uh, doing all of the layouts for Chamel's Best of Both World kit for April. And oh my gosh, y'all, there was so much paper tearing. So much paper tearing. I'm like, is she trying to kill me? I think she is. <laughs> Just one of those things where I'm like, I don't know if I can handle this. And what was funny is, you know, I'm behind in watching all of these. I mean, the April 30th, what, that was almost two weeks ago? Two weeks ago tomorrow? And I'm finally getting around to watching it. She talked about me twice <laughs> in the video going, it's a good thing Amy's not here. I'm like, yeah, she does her Friday lives in at 9.30 in the morning, which is 4.30 for me. Like, very rarely am I up that early on a Friday. I used to be up that early on a Friday. And so having her go live then was always quite nice because I could drink my first cup of tea and watch her at the same time. But then I never got to see the end of the layouts because it then became time to wake up Elizabeth. And yeah, so I never, <laughs> ever made it to it. 8.16. Okay, that's what time it is here too. Bed, cozy in your chair, cuddling with kitties and watching me. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> watching me is making Harmony feel good. Yay. Well, and cuddling with kitties. I do not have my puppers upstairs. He is downstairs with Daddy and Sissy. I just put that on the wrong photo. And I finally stained my new mat. I was doing some inking techniques with one of the page, one of the Chanel pages, actually. And um, I put the ink on the craft mat and it finally sunk in a little bit. So now it's like it's no longer that pristine white, although I really am looking at it on YouTube and you can't really tell. Can you tell what my shirt is? This is my spirit animal. It's got a sloth. It's kind of how I'm feeling lately. Ugh. My husband actually made my tea tonight. All that, all that doily stuff. And I'm like, oh, I can completely cover it up. So what do you think? Should there be a gap? Like, I feel weird having a gap there. Like, I need this to overlap that. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll overlap it. If I can get it off. I don't want to cover up the words. There we go. And then this one, I'm going to tuck underneath and at an angle. Like she's looking heavenward, towards heaven, something. All right, let me find the date of this photo very quickly because I texted her parents and I went, I have no clue about any of these photos. And then they told me and sent it back. February 20th. All right. Let me grab brown ink. I'm going to put that date down right now. It's 2021 and February. Yep, there we go. Get out my long on the ink. There we go. Dated and in there, mom remind me to send you a picture of the layout. I, well, I'm gonna post it on, on Instagram soon, but I'll, you get an early preview. It's of it's of your grandson and granddaughter, and they're very cute. All right, and I said I wanted to call it Cradle Catholic, and I I'm used to getting the sticker packs that have the letters in it. 
So when I get the sticker packs that don't have the letters in it, I get all thrown off. Let's see what I have up here. Let's see a this would work because there's at least there's two of every. I just ooh. Would this match? This might match. Let's see what I have. C R A D L. I don't have any E's, so no, that won't work. Never mind. Can I do Catholic? C A T H O L I C. Ooh, I could do Catholic, and then I could do. I don't wouldn't want to do cradle on this because this is gold, and that's got one that has rose gold. Cradle would work well there. Um, Harmony, I'm glad you brought that up. That was something I wanted to talk about because it's it's May 13th. Me and my anti-Christmas celebrate. Well, I mean, I celebrate Christmas. I, I like Christmas. I, I wouldn't go so far as I hate Christmas anymore. How about that? And a cherry on top has put up photo plays. Um, where'd Pusheen go? They put up photo plays, two Christmas collections and a Halloween collection. Yeah, that blue still works. And let me tell you, Tula and Norbert's, Tula and Norbert's Christmas party is coming home with me. I am gonna buy that sucker. I'm gonna buy that sucker early. I am gonna make the heck out of some pages ahead of time so I do not drive myself crazy like I did last year. Yeah. Oh, and then like L. Let's go with the pink. And then back to oh, let's do this one. There we go. Now this is going to be a very long word. So I think I want to put something. I need some embellishment first. See that? No, y'all didn't see that. I totally did not drop it like I did. Isn't it? I love the colors. Oh, Harmony, I don't think you were in here when, when I was saying the colors of this paper. This one's just pine cone, but this one is intense kiwi. Like intense. It's a good adjective. Sadly, the pine cone did not get any fun adjective. Boring. Boring pine cone. Oh, I like the You Are So Beautiful sticker. Let's go ahead and pull that out because I'm going to. Fresh from heaven. Oh, except she's not quite fresh. She's almost two months old, which is still quite young. I, I can tell that. Um, I don't know. Oh, I got a little bunny here. The picture of Zozo with her bunny. Tiny but mighty. That needs to go with Zozo too. Oh, so cute. So cute. All right. I meant to have this out ahead of time. It can't be too bad since it sits right next to me. I'm going to pull this out some other embellishments and you know what we might even go ahead and pull out brown I rarely do that <laughs> yes do I need to use the kitty for you I can so easily use a kitty especially you know compared to me always telling Miranda to put a bicycle on there all right kitties I can happily use just don't tell Tuck okay a deal what do I have in here with my smaller labels? I want something I don't know what I want. You know what? I took I take that back. I do know what I want. Where's the rest of that doily? Oh look, letter stickers. Thank goodness I kept those out and then promptly forgot about them. Okay, I did have a second half to that doily, didn't I? Oh, for the love. Where in the world 
How do you lose it? There it is. It's under my dang Nuvo drops. Oh, Nuvo's getting to me. Could I potentially tuck it under? I'll get some doubled up doily. What do we think of that? I can already tell you. I don't like it. Let's see if we've got any aqua pieces. Oh, well, that's great. Although I don't really want breakfast. I like the remember. High five, but six feet apart. Seriously? Seriously? Really? You got to go attacking the H? How do I lose it? Let me count the ways. <laughs> Sorry, all of a sudden I was like incredibly parched. You need a need, which they had some at um, Target recently. I may have bought four of them because they had four different ones. And one of them, I like that little cloud. I think Miranda Fussy cut that for me. It's a Bella Boulevard cloud, and that would have been something she would have done. All right, here's what I want to know. How, as a scrapbooker, am I going to use tomorrow? Because I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't tend to do a lot of scrapbooking the event before it happens. Although I'm planning on doing that for Christmas, obviously, because I just mentioned that. Let's go to pink. Okay, that is a gorgeous pink and it matches beautifully. It just totally not what we need though. Oh, okay, so I pulled out Nuva drops, but I have all these enamel dots that match perfectly. That's a question. Should I use some of these enamel dots so I can get rid of them? That works. The hard questions. What do you guys think? I've got more enamel dots. I can go pull green and aqua and brown ones if I needed to. Oh, that's a nice match, too. Oh, here's another cloud. That's part of a cloud. That's okay, though. Here's a little circle that would go. This little bit there would go. Important to me would work. Oh, that would work brilliantly, actually. I kind of want to put this mixtape puffy sticker in there because her parents are both music teachers. And I just think that would be funny. Go see the play, Annie. Wait, now I'm confused. What did I say? me being confused is usually not difficult. I need to put that one back in my brown. Oh, oh, that's like, I don't know. What do you guys think? That actually, the darker green kind of works. So does that green. Look, here's more green enamel dots. Told you I had some. Y'all, I think we're going to go with enamel dots today. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, yes. That makes complete sense now. That was the very first movie my mom ever took me to see. I still remember. remember watching the fireworks at the end. And I remember going home and telling dad about the fireworks and that they, they spelled her name in fireworks at the end. And I thought that was just about the coolest thing. And I don't know if this movie theater had one screen or two, but I remember running around in the field before the theater opened as, like, night fell. I could scrapbook that. I could scrapbook that entire, like, clearly I remember enough of it. <laughs> oh, didn't even realize it pulled out a green cloud. That works, too. Oh, let's see what we have for... 
enamel dots in this color. Those darker ones definitely work. Do I have any more? Oh, I got more clouds in here. I mean, you know, blue, I shouldn't be too surprised, should I? Got some very dark ones. Those will not work. So I think we'll go with those. All right, I think we got enough to get going so that I can start putting things down. And what, okay, you're very nice little arrow tabs, but you're not what I want. I think I'm going to floor everybody and I'm going to add a tag. There is one person on this planet that could get me to use tags. And she put them in her April Best of Both Worlds kit. Tags and paper tearing. I'm like, how in the world? See, now I can go across and do Cradle Catholic. And if it comes down here, that's okay for me. Oh, and I can also use this down at the bottom. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Okay, can you write these down and, like, text them to me, Harmony? Because I'm going to forget. I mean, I lose doilies sitting here right in front of me. All right, there we go. That works. This works. Throw that away. I'm going to tuck that there. I'm not going to worry about a... Um, my brain. Come on, brain. Think. Oh, putting something through the hole. Not going to worry about that. And while these are not American crafts, stickers, I don't really, I was not too impressed with how they were sticking in there. I know that the adhesive will dry eventually and then they fall down. But if I put... My nice fancy Nuvo adhesive. And I should be okay. But that means that you guys are sitting there watching this. So if you are watching this from the future, first of all, has it turned out as nicely as we've all been told? Do we have flying cards yet? Cards. No one's going to have flying cards. How about, do we have flying cars? If you are watching from the future, please let me know that, okay? Okay, can you like, <laughs> this is why I like to store things upside down when I know I'm gonna use them. Cats. I don't need a ton. <laughs> that would be lovely. I want to be in the future at Hogwarts. If I recall correctly, isn't, I think Harry Potter is my sister Jen's age. If I remember it. I remember finding that out and going, really? Missed him by two years. That have put me in Fred and George's year or Percy's? I can't remember. I guess it needs any means to go back and rewatch again. Or not rewatch, we read. All right, there we go. Catholic is down. And then I did not even check to see if, or at least I don't think I checked, to see if I had enough for Cradle. I just assumed. And we are purposely putting these letters all wappy jawed because I struggle to get things in a straight line without bending over and putting my head in the frame. And y'all have already seen enough of my desk in my head as it is. I'm going by how the shirt is spelled down here. I need a D next. Which uh, the D was not the question. It was, is it L-E or E-L? 
Riddle. L, 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 L. In case you don't know, cradle Catholic is a common term in the church for somebody that was born Catholic. Be a convert or a cradle Catholic. All right. And, you know, anyways. All righty. Now, got the title down. Got the bones of the page. I have a spot to journal in later. Not right now because... I already bored you with gluing a bunch of letters down. I'm not going to bore you with um, <laughs> with then writing some journaling. And what I think I might do is actually get her parents to write the journaling. And mom, oh my goodness, do you know what her parents did? We are, so we're not doing, we were, we were supposed to last year. We were, that's right, I was going to sneak in this little mixtape. I'm going to put it right down here. Last year, we were supposed to do the musical Beauty and the Beast Jr. And needless to say, it didn't happen. I did think I had pulled out another sticker though. Did I not? Hmm, I guess not. And we had hoped there was a lot of discussion over the summer. Are things going to get better? Can we do it in August or September? Clearly that wasn't happening either. Well, it should come as no surprise that we have actually not done anything. So we are going to have a little... If I put the kitty right here, it looks like she's looking at the kitty. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's ceiling cat. Um, so we're going to have like a little, it's not going to be the full musical because we still can't do that. We can't all be inside and like that, but we're going to have the kids in the cast sing some songs and stuff. And I got a text from her mom yesterday going, you want to come to rehearsal and tag team holding CC? And I'm like, yes. Why do you even ask silly questions? And I texted them today and I'm like, was this, was this part of a plan? Like, were y'all sitting around thinking, hmm, how can we get Amy, who has been working from home for so long, to come out and help us with rehearsals? Could we give her flowers, chocolates, promises we don't intend to keep? Because that's a reference to the movie. <laughs> um, and I was like, no, wait, then you went, we can tell her she can hold the baby. Baby will drag her out. I sent them that, asking them. And, and they would just laugh. They never actually said it wasn't. So I'm thinking that's what would ha that's how everything happened. Put this in there. There, I did have another sticker. It was this one, which is, of course, now stuck to my non-stick crap mat. And a hair. Sorry about that. That was a little nasty. Oh, that one's going to be perfect right there. See, Harmony, you understand what I'm saying. Is Ceiling Cat a thing anymore? Like, is, does my daughter know who Ceiling Cat is? I don't want to. So if I put it there, it covers up the little tail for the G and makes it look like a C, which I don't want to do. But I also don't want to move it up and then have a bit of the photo underneath. So I think... Not very happy with the little cutoff triangle there, but I think I can make it work. Let's not throw that in the trash can, please. So I have a trash can like right here. If my scissors fall off the table, oh, you can actually see the strip of orange is in my trash can. Can you see that way down there? Anyways, <laughs> hey, Cindy, you made it for the good part. You did not have to listen to me hemming or hawing and going, well, what should I do next? What kind of paper? Um, but if you like that, you can go back and rewatch and you can answer my questions from Tomorrowland. What was I saying? Oh, trash can right here, which I love my trash can right there. But I think I may accidentally throw things away. As long as you follow ceiling cat and not basement cat, because, you know, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> All right, this I want to include, but it must be tucked under something 
else. So yeah, that's going to get tucked under that. I need thin. How are you doing tonight, Cindy? You're having a good evening. I hope so. Don't know why I'm putting the sticky stuff on this when I haven't even figured out one where it's going to go and two inked it. And Cindy, do you know who Ceiling Cat is? Mom, do you know who Ceiling Cat is? All right. I feel a little silly gluing these together when I don't know where I'm putting them, but I don't really care. Now I wish I had put cradle like right here and then I could have had these cute little things next to them. Why is it I think come up with that idea now? This one can go under, underneath. <laughs> All right. Well, mom, I would suggest you go look up ceiling cat. Cindy, you can too. Uh, and, uh, ceiling cat, basement cat, where there's, where'd my glue go? There it is. Where there's, meme i remember looking at those memes when i was um staying up late with my crown baby 12 years ago that was back when i can has cheeseburger was huge there we go it was like that moved i'm like did i not glue it down like i know i'm forgetful but that seems a little excessive even for me mm. Got a lot of these with the hearts. So we're going to make that into one embellishment. I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> Harmony, you are my kind of person. I just want to say that. And do I need, can I get scissors that are any bigger to cut a teeny tiny piece of foam tape? So that, this is what we call overkill. Alrighty, put that there, I like that. Where did that green, I just found that on my pants. Oh, that works right there actually. Sorry, sorry if I just knocked your ears off. <laughs> incorporate some of the cloud down there so it feels more like a complete embellishment at the top. Okay, I'm going to need you not to fold over funny. I wonder because I had a whole bunch of these little clouds. I just found a binder clip that I've been looking for. A whole bunch in one of these things. Oh, well, that's just precious. I kind of want to use that. What's this? Oh, it's my puppy dog flare. Why is it in this one and not my flare bin? No wonder I'm never using it. Oh, well. That I'll save for later. <laughs> I like that one too, Harmony. <laughs> oh, I remember just sitting there and holding Elizabeth in my arms as she would be whiny and fussy as babies at two months old tend to be. And just in my laptop too for me going click that a giggle click another one eventually she'd fall asleep and then i'd stand up to walk her to her crib and she'd wake back up again because why would we stay asleep that's so easy all right pull that down there and the question is 
and I get this in there. And that lovely vellum I just chopped right up. Oh yes, I do love monorail cat. I have forgotten about monorail. Go in there like that. And then we're going to peel this stuff up because I haven't peeled anything up yet, folks. And we all say together, it's not a layout by Amy unless you peel stuff up. Oh, wait, we need to ink it. Forgets to ink some things. Like, you know, I'm starting to think I'm going to call that a design choice, too. All right. I'm going to keep this part up on the vellum. If you have never used vellum before, it just it shows terribly through. Or, you have to either hide it, coat the entire back, or use a special vellum adhesive, which you would think would be invisible because it's adhesive strictly made for vellum, but it's not, and you end up drying it. And I'm trying to get that heart right between the sticker and the little X in the heart. There we go. Important to me. Keep this little lady friendly. Let's see, uh, we're going to go with super thin. Oh, a really high pitched sound. I don't know what that is. Is anybody else hearing something high pitched? And Harmony's clearly not hearing any of this because she's muted me, which I bet there are a lot of students that wish they could mute me. <laughs> Wrapping up. Now I'm going, I'm just doubting where I want to get this. This is a much better spot. So let's peel up a little bit of this fun tape. I want to do more of the baby is important to me, not her religion. Sounds going in and out. That is so weird. I don't know what that, what all that is. Sorry. That would work beautifully right there, and I could color, color, cover up a little yellow arrow. It doesn't really matter whether there's yellow there and yellow there, so you can do your work. There we go. I don't have any baby bubble stamps. I just realized that. Side of the whaling in there. You don't think it? I don't know what it is. Not too bad. <laughs> you come to spend your evening with me and you can't because something's going on. I don't want that to get cut a little more because I don't know. I don't think that's what needs to dramatically cut. Elizabeth! Yeah? Do you know who ceiling cat is? Or basement cat? Yeah. She does! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that meme I would read about when I would hold you when you were crying and a baby and would not stop. 
stop crying. Go and hear it. Yes, the interwebs is weird. Okay, refresh. Still doing it. Elizabeth is as old as an old meme. Does that make you an old meme, Elizabeth Grace? Does that make you an old meme? I do want one more thing. I think it'll be enamel dots. Is it fine? Like, am, am, am I really like at the enamel dot thing? Before I move on to enamel dots, let me look for my stickers one more time. See if there is anything. Oh, that would work very well. See if there's anything else. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, and that one too. <sighs> Why am I going to? Okay, I'm not going to go wrong to do she now. This one is going here, and then the other one is going to go up there. And then we are moving on. Like I've got one little tiny bit of foam left. I'm gonna pop something up on it. Now here's one that is going to be kind enough to share soon. Oh, I like that better. Okay. Now we move on to enamel dots. Apparently, I can't put packaging open anymore. The doodle bugs. These are their swimming pool sprinkles. Copyright 2013. Not as old as Feeling Cat, though. Because then it cuts the aqua completely. No, but it could. So, right there. There we are. Dog, dog. Could not do it, could not do it. Booyah, Kasha. Use up that packaging. All done. On to green. I just, just want to use this green. I don't know. That green looks pretty. Okay. Doing it enough? I thought I did. Apparently, I can't tell when I feel things popping. One under here. Can I use up this? Sheet. Can I use up this sheet of enamel dots? I want to. Yes. Okay. Apparently, my finger is not staying. Nope. This is what I'm doing.
room with enamel dots. It's like, how many enamel dots can one put on all? And I hear Chanel in my head going, more. And so I say, okay. Throw the ball. Put a green one. Size necessarily next to each other. I like that. Oh, look, I'm enjoying. And I dig with little. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Need to write harmony and note. <laughs> I don't think I'll be using up all of these, but I will try to use one whole row. How about that? Because I have all these enamel dots that I'm not using, and it seems absolutely ridiculous to keep them hanging around and they're not being used. Uh, what? I bought, and I have all these Nubo drops. Goodness knows I love my Nubo drops. I just ripped the paper. Man. I, guess I will be putting them right there. Well, hello, Sugar Boy. How are you? You're just like, I'm here. The whole world knows you're here, babe. Don't worry. I go face. Good boy. Don't you know that's good boy you are. I was the one that didn't watch the dog. Sucker's like, don't worry, Mom. I'll make you want me. I think I might be done. So thank you to everybody who came today and saw and watched. Oh, oh yeah, I was like, wait, I didn't use them, but drop because I used enamel drops instead. So thank you for coming. If you enjoyed this, I'd love if you would give a like and subscribe and join the My Mommy's Prepping family. And I will be back here again. Thank you, Mom, and thank you, Harmony. I'll be back here again next Thursday night. We go live, and I'm also live in my Facebook group. There's a link down below. Um, I'm live there Sundays at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time and Thursdays 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you guys all have a lovely night.